Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, and today I am going to finally pick up the keys to the apartment. Uh, the superintendent, I spoke to him yesterday, I let him know about the light situation. Uh, he said somebody was coming in to fix it over the weekend, so they know about it. Um, he's leaving the keys in the door for me, uh, so I'm going to go get my keys. So regarding my car, I took my car to the mechanic down the road here. Uh, my friends who are staying here suggested I did, uh, try to uh, have him look at it and see what he comes up with. Uh, it may be something, whatever, he could save me money, whatever the case may be. Uh, so he's allowing me to use his truck today. So maybe I could take a few things from the garage to my apartment for the time being um, and do what I have to do. Um, I gotta pick up also a change of address for the uh, post office and I gotta do other things as well. So that's what I'm doing right now. Plus my clothes are in the garage of course and I'm still wearing the, the change of clothes for the week and a half that I have packed for since I've been here since August 20th so right now I am here with Mabes underneath the dining room table so I'm having this vlog rendered here which is for 6 3 that's June 3rd so that is um, I believe that's where uh, they came and they painted and whatnot, and uh, I don't know what this one's for, about, I forgot. But anyway, you'll see that very soon, or you will see that already by the time I upload this one. So that's what I'm doing here. And Mabes, what are you looking at? Mabes. I don't know. Uh, we are getting another guest for the weekend here, and that's going to be my friend's daughter's uh, dog. They're going away for a week and uh, kind of dog sitting. So Mabes here is going to have a playmate, um, but this dog jumps on the bed. This dog is will run circles around Mabes here. So... Um, I don't know what else is going to happen from what they tell me that this dog jumps on the bed, lays on the bed, jumps on the couch, and that is a no-no in this house. That's why this dog does not do that. Uh, Mabes here, she's pretty good. Um, and uh, actually, Mabes is short for Mabel. I call her Mabes as a nickname, and, uh, well, Stable Mabel, because <laughs> this dog is stable. She's not, she's really stable here. She's, like, just laying underneath the dining room table here, so. Oh, well. So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get these keys. So, I didn't go yet. I'm gonna go in a few minutes. Uh, my friend's wife, she's, wife, she's home. She's gotta do something. Um, and uh, we just had some lunch. And uh, her daughter brought over their dog that is gonna be our guest for about a week. Look at this monstrosity. And poor Mabes here is a victim of playfulness. Say this dog gets up and just runs. That it'll be a little thing. I walk, it starts following me. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Easy. So guys, I made it to the apartment and I got my key. So um, hopefully they'll be working on that light. Um, that's what they told me. So I got this, so I am golden now. And I'm gonna start bringing some stuff. I'm gonna go back to the, my house, my old house and get my stuff, some of it, not all of it, because I'm probably gonna need a lot of help, but I'll put what I can. I'm at my house, my old house, and I went to go open the garage door. Uh, this garage door normally 
is left open. And I, you got to go through the side door. And they locked it. And I can't. the key won't unlock the door. And you have to go through inside to unlock it. And I can't even get inside. Because the key is in my car at the mechanics. So I didn't expect this to be locked. Which it's never locked. And again. Again. You know, it's a waste of, a waste of a day. You know, I'm just so sick of this. I'm so sick of the, I'm so sick of everything. I'm sick and tired of this. You know, people do things and then they say, oh, it's your, my fault. It's my fault. It's not my fault. Now I wasted a whole friggin' trip here. I should have, just to get the key. I, I can't, I can't even get any stuff, any stuff to bring it in now. I'm so disgusted right now. So guys, I'm at back at the house. I got the keys. The car wasn't worked on yet, so I was able to put the key in. But the key does the key turns, but apparently it doesn't lock unlock it. It doesn't unlock the thing. So this is the problem. This is never supposed to be locked, but they locked it, and for some reason you can't even open it. Even if I turn it this way, like this, like that. And I turn it, and it twists back, and all that. It's locked. It, it's still locked. You can't move it. You can't do anything with it. What happens is, once it's locked from the on the outside, it's got to be unlocked in the inside. Now, here's the problem. You can't get to the front here to unlock this thing to open up the door. You got to go inside and go over all the crap that's there, my stuff, in order to get in there. So I do have the key for the entrance here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how am I supposed to get to get all that stuff? There's no way to get out of there because I have to go over there to actually unlock it. Unless they made a pathway in order to do that, which they probably did here. And I could do that. I think I can. So now I have to go around and I gotta go through there just to get my stuff. This is really, this is ridiculous. They, you know what I'm saying? This is totally ridiculous. They've caused more problems for me than, I, than it is. And it's like, you know, I don't think anybody thinks. They think everybody's got, you know what I'm saying? They want you to do stuff. They want you to leave. They want all this gone and all that stuff. But yet, they make it more harder for you to do it. And that's why I'm pissed. And yet... I'm wrong for getting mad and complaining about it. Uh, I made it to the door. I had to step on logs, hold on to this, my bed. And now there's a thing here, a clip there. When you turn it, it unlocks. And like I said, there. And that should release it. And I should be able to lift this sucker up. And I should be able to just open it. I'm not able to open this from this side. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to go around and uh, well, go back around to try to see. I'll go from the fat other side. You know, see, I gotta, I gotta climb over crap. <sighs> you know, I shouldn't be. And there's glass all over the floor. That's something they broke. That they didn't clean up. And you know what I'm saying? So it's ridiculous. But it's stuck like it doesn't want to go. There it goes. Got it. Got it, guys. There you go. I don't know what happened. I, got, I think because when I, that's what I mean. You got to unlock it from inside in order to actually open the thing. So guys, this is it. <laughs> this is all my stuff, and I gotta get it out. <laughs> but I, all my brother pulled all the stuff on top and stuff like that. I have no clue what anything is in. I gotta go through it all. So.
things are like put in here and stuff like that and it's all a bunch of big mess I'm wondering if this apartment could fit everything in there I don't doubt I don't think so especially you know for storage and stuff I may have to like may have to get a storage unit I don't know I don't mean it's gonna be expensive so guys I was able to get some of the stuff into the back of the truck here so I got some of the stuff here um, I'm gonna probably make another trip uh, my back hurts because lifting up stuff I get pull muscles in my back and it's not good and so I'm gonna take it to the place now my apartment and I'm gonna take the stuff out it should be interesting Okay guys, so I just moved the boxes. A total of seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I got my clothes, some of my clothes here, and my bucket. <laughs> uh, I gotta leave the door open because they are fixing that light. Um, they're fixing that. Whatnot, so um, I have to leave the door open. Plus, I just met my neighbors. They're moving in, so yeah, that's it, man. All right. Hey, how you doing? Good. Took another trip to the house to get more stuff. Got more stuff in there. I still got a lot of more stuff. I locked the garage um, both ways. So again, you got to go through the garage door to get to here to unlock it. So that's exactly what happened. It got locked and it was done on purpose. Uh, figuring that uh, I don't think they know how it works. That you actually have to go inside the garage through the door and go to knock the pin, turn the pin. So that way you unlock it. Then you got to go back around again and open it from that way. So, my back, guys, hurts like a mother. Really hurts. You know, I'm doing all, also all myself, you know, and I'm gonna have to see, I gotta get my our friends that are maintaining this house to try to help me, I'm gonna call them. Um, but like I said, um, the electrician is at the apartment and it's wide open, anybody could walk in. Uh, I wanna find out because it's gotta be locked and they're gonna leave it open. I'm not sleeping there tonight. I'm staying, of course, with my friends. I got church tomorrow. Um, you know, um, a friend was nice enough to lend me his truck for today, this, despite all what's going on. And in regards to my car being in the shop and don't even know what's going on with that, I'm a little disgusted because it's like, I don't know, is it worth fixing this car or just go getting a new car, uh, another used car, you know what I'm saying? So, I really, guys, I really, really don't know. I'm like so aggravated. I'm so to the point of so disgusted. And um, my friend Sue just texted me earlier and wanted me to lead worship tomorrow. Um, so, I'm not going to be doing streaming Manning that, I'm going to be singing leading. <sighs> I hope my back feels better by then. Because i got to stand up the entire time. So, guys, I am sorry. I am just angry at the fact all this is happening at once. You know, because, again, it's like I really am forcing and I'm hurting myself at the same time. So, you know, I'm going to be in pain. I'm sick and tired of, that's why I'm sick and tired of being, being, having these disabilities. I'm sick and tired of it because I can't do everything. I can't depend on anybody. Like I said, I'm not looking to depend on people. But at the same time, when people offer, you know, it's like, who cares? You know, it's like, and everybody asks me about, what about my brother? You know, what is he doing? help I said he only helped me move my stuff inside the garage he didn't help me move he's not gonna come up to help me move that's not what he's doing he's only doing it honestly because of the 
house that he's renting. So in order to do it. Other than that, he really wouldn't do anything in that sense. But he'll say he did it, helped me move my stuff out. And when he did it, he made a mess of it as it is. And that I'm really disgusted. And again, this is go this goes back to what I'm I said in my original statement in many videos before. You know, you don't know what you're doing. You don't you're just trying to get the stuff out, but you're throwing everything in boxes. I don't know what's what. And then when I have to, when I really need the stuff and stuff that cannot be stored in high heat and temperatures, like my sensors from my Dexcom, then you cause more problems, more damage to me. And you go, you just people just shrug their shoulders like, who gives a rat's ass about it? That's your problem. Yeah. Well, you made the problem. That's all I'm gonna say. You made another problem for me. And then they want to use the excuses that, oh, things happen in life. Things happen. Things happen that's beyond your control. When somebody is causing the problems and is contributing to it, then there is a problem. There is a big problem. You know, and, and yet a lot of people ask me the question, you know, and they're like so disgusted, even at the fact of just telling people about the situation in a, in a positive way they get upset so if if they're getting upset guys then I don't know who is the person at fault so I'm going to be going back to the apartment to drop this stuff off and then I'm going to um, go back fill up my friend's gas tank and that's it. So guys, I just took the rest of the stuff in the department here. I am in so much pain. My back really hurts. My leg is all swollen. Look at that, it's all swollen. My foot, so I can feel it and stuff like that. So I got so much stuff here. And my clothes, some of my clothes. And this is not all of them, this is only some. And then what Trizen guy, um, apparently uh, I went to check to see if the light is working. And sure enough, yep, it connected it. My brother put this in this, which goes to my coffee maker. He throws it in there. It could break, and then I gotta go buy another one. I gotta replace it. You know, that's this is what I gotta deal with, guys. This is what I gotta freaking deal with. She goes there. It's it, it it's the stupidity of people, which pisses me off. That's the problem. It's the stupidity of people and they're, they just want to throw things in places where they shouldn't be throwing them. And then when you can't find them or they break, they don't want to take responsibility for it. So, all right guys. So I'm gonna uh, measure these uh, windows and uh, whatnot and I'll talk to you later.